Okay, now let's work on the actual library. So let's see if we can add a stone here. All right, and look at, look at this guy. So remember, this is just to show you different tools that you could do and so forth, okay? Now, let's look at these tools here. Different colors. You can change it. And if you want it back, just go back. And that gives you different... Uh, I think this is pretty cool. Okay. This is the back relief toggle. And this is the front relief. Okay. And if you have... When you add different uh, from the clip uh, clip art you could toggle that as well but this is the assembly okay so let's shut this guy off and turn the assembly on but we're gonna look at the assembly as well here you can see all the stones okay now let's dock this guy here let's auto so let's keep it here so we can see what we're doing keeps hiding on us I don't like that all right so we're gonna go here if you look, if you click on the on here that shuts off the gems. You can do them one at a time, and you could shut off the whole assembly, and you could just do the ring. But let's say I'm gonna put change the color of this guy. Okay, so one of them. So what I'm gonna do is this scales the size, but we don't wanna scale it. Okay, so let's go under here the info, and it says brilliant, and it gives you the sizes what it is and let's say edit color so instead of a diamond I'm gonna put a ruby in there and I'm gonna change it so now I changed it to a ruby okay so same thing let's go uh, let's do this guy here and we go under here the info edit the color and let's do a sapphire and check okay so that changes the colors so red white and blue okay or well, should be the other way around so but that's how you can change the colors, okay? Or you could put them back to diamonds, and you could scale them, and you could nudge them. You could put them in, you know, different places. So you probably wonder what this tool is. This is uh, a little bit more advanced. That it's going to lay a gem on the actual relief, so then you can see it. So if you actually go to the relief and bring this, so if you take one of the gems, you'll be able to lay it on here. Okay, so let's uh, see how you can move it, and you can lay it on top. Okay, now you can mount it here. You can put them down, but you would have to uh, grab each one separately. It's a little bit more work, I think, but it's it's pretty cool too. You can do that with the prawns and uh, and so forth. Okay, now you have both of them because you want to make them. So what we're we gonna do right now, we're gonna use the library, we're gonna insert a head in here. So let's go to the library, make sure you click on the assembly and scroll down. There's your component library. There's hundreds of things here that it's already pre-created, not just in settings, but other things like shanks. And these are your huge library here you can add. But I like to do things from scratch because they uh, everything I do is custom. So we're gonna pick a setting. And let's pick this guy, and it's height 6.5 by 5. Let's do this 6.5 millimeter, which is one carry. And import, and that puts it right in the center for us. Okay, it's pretty cool, right? So now let's um, go back to the model so we can see it now. If we did the same thing, it would be identical on the side. But you can actually do it from here too as well if you want all these tools. But we'll uh, we'll wait on that and we'll do another tutorial about that. So I don't want to confuse you too much. That's a lot of info just for one ring right now. So there's your ring and uh, it looks pretty nice. We could take a picture. Let's see if we could do it from here still. That didn't do it. Let's see view, uh, save uh, 3D view image. Is it the, the, yeah, right here you can save the picture you can make a nice picture for it. okay so let's take a picture we're going to use it for the tutorial but before we do that let's make it look pretty so, so let's see here. All right, uh, let's rotate it here like that and 
we got to take a picture save 3d view image we could do pdf and send it to the customer we could jpeg is fine let's do it on the desktop and we do uh let's say part one pick you can name it anything you want i just for me to so now we save this picture okay and that's pretty much it and uh hopefully you enjoyed this and please if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment or ask and uh, I promise I'll be making a lot more tutorials and uh, thumbs up for uh, Autodesk for creating such a beautiful program but hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you for watching.